Hello, video viewers. It is my esteemed pleasure once again to welcome you to yet another episode of our YouTube tutorial videos. So, in this tutorial video today, I'm going to take you through how you can uh, calculate elements of your areas for various uh, structural uh, elements such as uh, the roof or even the height of a, of a building. So that it can also help you to come up with uh, the relevant costings for a structure that you are working on. So before you proceed with this tutorial video, I will wish to ask you to kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel. Like, comment and even share with your peers so that you may not miss any of upcoming tutorial videos. And so that you can also enable this channel to grow to its uh, optimum. Uh, potential levels so to begin us off uh, I have this design that I was working on and uh, I want to simply just uh, find out uh, what is the surface areas of, of this roof because the end goal of this uh, exercise is to help me to come up with the relevant costings so that I it may also guide the client to know what exactly uh, he will expect when it comes to the cost of setting up this roof. So <clears throat> the first thing that we'll do in this simple exercise is to select the entire roof. So by that I mean I will have to have my 3D window uh, active. So to do that I will uh, escape and then I'll be able to uh, select the roof uh, using uh, the cursor here. I'll just simply hold on to the the left uh, key of my mouse, then click on it, and there I'll have selected the the roof. Then the next thing that I'll do is to go to the the tool panel and I'll select uh, on window. Then I will locate the palette. I'll click on that. Then on that dialog box that is just coming up, I will go and rightly select the element information. And then there will be a dialog box that will be appearing in view. So I'll just set it right there so that I can have a better view of uh, that roof. So I believe you can see that this uh, element information dialog box uh, coming up here has a lot of information. We have uh, we have element properties, we have element size, the area of the plan, the element height, and even the surface. Yeah. So what we'll do is uh, just uncheck the the irrelevant uh, information content that you may not wish to have for that particular time. So in this case. I'm simply concerned with the, the area. So in that regard, I will just uncheck the element properties. Then I will also uncheck the, the element height. I'll also uncheck the, the volume. Then whatever I'll be remaining with is my, is my uh, I'll, 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 I'll uncheck the size and then I'll remain with the, the area of the plan. So in that regard, uh, I'll only be remaining with this particular area. As you can see, the roof area of the plan is uh, 154.806 square meters. And... Uh, you can see that uh, it is it is given giving me the the number of holes that have been reduced and the number of holes that have not been reduced. So you can see that we have uh, the specifications here having the area of the plan with the holes not reduced as 154.806, and then again we have 154.806 uh, as the ones that are do not have the holes reduced. So from this information, you will be able to calculate it now based on your your, your country's uh, standard costings. 
Uh, for example, in, in a specific country, you will have the cost of the roof being as, uh, for example, uh, like 1,000 USD per square meter. For example, there is uh, 4,000 USD per, per square meter. So it depends. You, you'll be able to customize the, the cost of that roof based on your, your, your location and where you're coming from and also the nature of materials that you'll be using for that particular exercise. So I believe that uh, uh, from my inbox uh, that I received uh, a query on how to uh, select element information uh, in, your, in, your, in your particular design, I believe you have been answered. And please, uh, in case of any question that you may have uh, pertaining these designs, kindly inbox me on the information that I'll be leaving in the, the YouTube tutorial uh, video below. And please remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel and even share with your friends. And uh, see you in the next tutorial video. Thank you for your time. Bye.